Yes, sas. Sinn Féin President Mary Lou Macdonald from Ireland here and it's a privilege and an honour to address the membership of Syriza at your third Congress in Athens today. Solidarity and best wishes to you all. I want to send a special greeting to Alexis and the leadership team as you continue to champion progressive change in Greece and in your preparations for the legislative election next year. This is a moment of great challenge for the European family, for workers and families in all member states. A soaring cost of living, the energy crisis and Russia's criminal imperial invasion of Ukraine have fundamentally shifted the geopolitical landscape of Europe for at least a generation. These events prove that we can never take peace and stability for granted. The left must be to the fore in offering solutions that ensure ordinary people aren't forced to shoulder the costs of this crisis. We must be united, steadfast in defence of sovereignty and self-determination when under attack by bigger powers acting with brutal aggression. Russia's war on Ukraine has resulted in the biggest displacement of people in Europe since World War II. So we must strongly advocate for proactive, planned, rights-based responses from governments to the refugee crisis and for all refugees. We must also stand collectively against the attempts of the far right in Europe to exploit this crisis, to try and divide ordinary people and advance a toxic, divisive politics. All who believe in a better and fairer Europe must come together. There are big opportunities for significant wins across the European Union. Here in Ireland, the demand for real change grows by the day. People rally to the progressive policies of fairness and equality. And Sinn Féin is leading change right across the island. Standing on our left Republican agenda, our party leads the polls in the south. While in the north, we have an assembly election on May 5th where we have a real chance of emerging as the largest party. In government, we will seek to transform Irish society in the interests of workers, families and communities. The prospect of the reunification of Ireland is also gathering significant momentum. We're seeking an inclusive citizens' assembly as a forum for historic public conversations on ending the century-old failed partition of our country. We seek a new Ireland underpinned by equality for all our citizens, embracing all traditions and identities. Our friends in Greece and in Europe can help us make change happen by advocating and supporting the reunification of Ireland through every possible avenue. We live in times where the clouds seem deep and dark. Certainly, it's one of the most challenging and tragic chapters of Europe's recent history, but I remain hopeful. Despite it all, I believe humanity will rise to the challenge. By standing together and building the international relationships of the left, we can achieve a brighter, equal and peaceful future. This is a time for common purpose, a time for leadership and unity. Friends of Syriza, I wish you all the best in your debates and your discussions. May this Congress be your best one yet. And as we say in Ireland, all more. Best of luck.